Welcome. This is Brenda Harris greeting you in the precious name of Jesus. Thank you so much for stopping by today. One of the precious viewers asked me what it means about being hidden in God. So, I thought I would do a video about that. And one of my favorite verses is found in Psalm 27, and it's talking about the Lord hiding me in his pavilion during times of trouble. Well, I tell you what, I want to be with God even in the good times and the bad times. So I think it's emphasizing, though, that when we're going through times of trouble, that we need some extra presence of the Lord. We just need Him to take care of it all during those times. So I believe it's speaking about emotional issues. Maybe not necessarily talking about physical, but I can recall times in my life when I have needed the presence of God even in the physical times. Maybe someone was threatening me or whatever. And I remember one time my mom said that this disgruntled renter, he was crazy. He was gonna hit her because she was asking him to pay his rent. <laughs> but I think this guy had been on drugs and things and he was just out of his mind. Well. She rebuked him in the name of Jesus, and he left with his girlfriend, and they got out of there because the Holy Ghost just came all over my mom. And that's a time when God's presence protected my mom physically. But a lot of times, we need emotional help from God when we're going through troubles. And the Bible tells us that a man's days are full of trouble. is just like the sparks fly upward. How many of you have ever had experience in burning outside? And the last couple of years, my mom and I have been doing a lot of that because I've cleared land. I've been working on that. And... And we would bring the wood in rather than hauling it off. We would burn it. We built this fire pit. Well, a couple of months back, I was outside burning. And when I first started, it wasn't that windy. But as the day progressed, it got really windy. I should have stopped, you know, but I didn't. And then... Pretty soon, I turned around and I saw this towel was on fire and it was sitting on mom's tractor. And I was just hosing down that tractor from stem to stern with the water hose and, and got that fire put out. But I'm telling you what, it could have blown that tractor up if I hadn't seen it, but that spark just flew away and it landed on the seat of that tractor. I know firsthand about those sparks because I'm telling you what, those sparks can go way high in the air. One day I was burning the wood in the fire pit and those embers went way, 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 way over there where my garage was. I mean, that was far away and I was just shocked at it but it didn't catch anything on fire but that taught me a lesson I, I need to just burn the wood on the days that is hardly any wind <laughs> so that's what I think I'm going to do but you know when we're going through troublous times we need God's presence and I think that's what hiding ourselves in God means is dwelling in his presence 
and when we're in God's presence, we can have peace that passes all understanding. And God will give us that even when we're going through a mourning period. And the way I do it is I get my Bible out and I get alone and I pray to God and I, I read his word out loud and I, I pray his psalms. And I tell you what, when my husband passed away and I was going through that morning time, I didn't want to be with people. I wanted to be by myself <clears throat> because God was the only one that could comfort me. And people can tell you they're sorry and they can give you condolences all day long. But to me, God's Holy Spirit is the only one that really works. I don't know how he does it, but his presence is just miraculous. It just satisfies your deepest longings. That's what God's precious holy presence does. And I'm so thankful that we have him. I'm so thankful that he tells us in Psalm 27 that we could hide in his pavilion. Have you ever looked at a pavilion? I looked up what a pavilion looks like on the internet and they have some very beautiful gazebos but then I also looked at some spectacular looking pavilions that almost look like mansions so I think in God's pavilion it would be an absolutely wonderful place to be it would be a perfect structure and being in God's presence no fear and the Bible tells us that the perfect love casts out all fear God's love is perfect so he can give us peace in a world of turmoil in a world of sadness a world of fear, a world of trouble, placing our hand in God's hand will turn everything around for us and he will be right there with us from beginning to end and have you ever heard that phrase this too shall pass God will bring that time of trouble to an end because you have hidden yourself in his pavilion you have run to him you have entered his pavilion of your own free will and he will not turn you away in the mighty name of Jesus amen